Electricity and lighting is taken for granted by most people in the developed world. However, millions of people in the developing world rely every day on inefficient fuels such as kerosene that can be dangerous and pose serious long-term health problems. In Southeast Asia, landlocked between Myanmar, China, Vietnam, Cambodia and Thailand, lies the Lao People's Democratic Republic. With little over 6.3 million people covering an area of 230,000 square kilometres, it is the 186th least densely populated country on the planet, with only 26 people occupying every square kilometre. The flip side to this blessing of space in a poorly developing country is the cost of bringing electricity and services to the people. In Lao PDR, this means that over 40% of the population remains off-grid with no access to electricity. In response to this, Sun Labob Renewable Energy designed a solar rechargeable battery lantern which provides a safe, competitive electrical lighting alternative to the conventional use of kerosene. The use of this lantern reduces greenhouse gases and offsets fossil fuels and allows Sun Labob to provide a service-oriented solution for rural electrification. The battery lantern is a breakthrough when it comes to rural electrification. Sunlabob has been able to pack more and more into each new model released. One standout element is the lantern's plastic housing, which is made by recycling locally sourced waste materials. The Cooperative Orthotic and Prosthetic Enterprise, or COPE as it's more commonly known, is an organisation based in the Lao PDR that manufactures prosthetic limbs primarily for the survivors of UXO blocks. In making these limbs, there is waste polypropylene that COPE cannot reuse. Sunlabob purchases this waste, which in turn provides COPE extra revenue needed to supply more prosthetics and mobility devices, which they provide free of charge to patients that cannot afford to pay for them. Each lantern has an embedded microprocessor, which acts as an identification tag that monitors and safeguards its battery. At the recharging station, using the solar controlling unit, Data can be collected on the use and status of the lantern. The data can then be analysed to ensure high efficiency of all equipment and potentially for carbon trading. More than just a lantern manufacturer, Sun Labob is a full service energy provider, selling hardware and providing commercially viable energy solutions for remote rural areas where the public electricity grid does not yet reach. For the last decade, Sun Labob has been dedicated to helping achieve the UN Millennium Development Goals, working towards ensuring environmental sustainability, building global South-South partnerships, ending poverty and obtaining gender equality through its many initiatives and business activities. One commercially viable energy solution that has seen great success and recognition is Sun Labob's unique Solar Lantern Rental System, SLRS. As the name suggests, the rental system is based on Sun Labob's award-winning rechargeable battery lanterns and an innovative public-private partnership operational model, which draws on commitment from all sides to achieve a sustainable outcome. The SLRS fosters entrepreneurship at village level, training local technicians who grow in skills and knowledge, becoming fully self-supported business operators. This model works by incorporating several key contributors who all share financial responsibility, resources, risks and returns. This model usually involves having Sun Labob, a private investor, a public donor, a village energy committee and a village entrepreneur working together. In Lao PDR, Sun Labob engages private investors who make loans into an investment fund, which Sun Labob then uses to manufacture and assemble the solar recharging station, solar panels and solar charging unit. Rainer Hiller is one such investor, who felt he could do more with his money than have it just sitting in the bank. It's possible, using only modest resources, to do good for others in ways that are meaningful and helpful. It's not just about donating money, it's investing into a project and receiving interest just like at a bank. Better than investing at a bank, with this you're supporting a village which only had candlelight, which meant children had to do homework in dim lighting. This is unimaginable for people in Germany. Children would refuse, and with good reason. Investing in a project like this is great because the person who is running this system gains employment. 
The money collected with the renting and loading of the solar lamps is used for village development, which a village committee decides how to implement. It couldn't be more useful. Sunlabob obtains support from a public donor who makes a grant available to set up a revolving fund. This fund enables the Village Energy Committee to manage the on-site operational aspects of the system and acquire the first set of lanterns that will be rented out by the village entrepreneur. In every village where Sunlabob operates, like Ban Pon Lek in Kamuan province, a Village Energy Committee or VEC is formed. The VEC is comprised of well-respected members of the community, usually including the village head, a women's union representative and a youth organisation representative. The VEC acts as a village level governing body for collective matters and decisions. The VEC regulates the village entrepreneur, manages the lantern maintenance fund and manages the lanterns on behalf of the entire village. A percentage of the charging fee goes towards the lantern maintenance fund, which is used for the maintenance and replacement of lanterns. A village entrepreneur, or VE, is hired by the VEC to be responsible for the regular maintenance and servicing of the system. The VE operates a business by renting the charging components from Sunlabob and collects a charging fee from the customers for charging the lanterns. The VE is trained by Sunlabob to operate and maintain the components of the system and also to keep records of the usage. Because the VE operates the charging station as a business, the more lanterns he or she charges, the more money he or she makes. In Lao PDR, the poorest rural households spend between 3 and 6 US dollars per month on kerosene lighting. Sunlabob now offers a competitive alternative with its SLRS. Private investment contributes to the charging stations that are rented to the village businesses and publicly launched revolving funds provide the first batch of lanterns to start up these businesses. After the initial investment from the public sector, the new village enterprise is expected to generate sufficient income from the collection of charging fees as well as expand and continue their operations through the revolving fund without any further public investment, thereby ensuring sustainability of the project. Sunlabob's technology and presence is not bound to rural Southeast Asia. On the other side of the world, in communities from Afghanistan to Uganda, people are being trained and are implementing the SLRS with great success. The SLRS model is flexible and therefore has been adapted appropriately to best serve the needs of each country. In Uganda, for example, although a village energy committee is set up, it is only responsible for communication with the end users and does not oversee a revolving maintenance fund. Maintenance and replacement costs are borne by the village entrepreneurs, who receive a higher remuneration and recharging fees for their work in reflection of higher kerosene prices. Rosemary Kaberi runs the solar charging station in Suzy, Uganda. It's a job well suited to women, as she explains. It is a very, very good job for a woman because you can stay at home and do your housework perfectly well while at the same time doing the job as you don't have to sit there all the time and do only that. It's a job you can find the time to do. In Afghanistan, there has been no involvement from a private investor or locally based private company in the implementation of the system. All the equipment has been purchased by the United States Agency for International Development, who are also in charge of organising the delivery in a way that fits local practices. Once we press the 5, charging done. 6 enabled. So now we can go to, it says it's checked it, the charging is done, it's already charged. So now we go to six. Shasha bezanim, shasha If it had not been charged, it would have been In Afghanistan, Sunlabob will continue working and training communities in need. In Uganda, success has been achieved quickly with Sunlabob's lanterns proving to be a sure method of lighting up Africa. Back in the Lao PDR, San Labob is actively working to help the government achieve their ambitious goal of connecting 90% of the country to the power grid by 2020. With San Labob setting the trend and breaking new ground in renewable energy, communities in the developing world can look forward to a greener, brighter future.